hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to make nigerian scotch egg i like to call it the cousin sister of egg roux and i'm going to show you a very easy way of making it so keep on watching so right here i have some sausage i'm going to be using some pork sausage you can use beef sausage chicken sausage just any sausage of your choice so right now i am just peeling off the skin you know with which it comes in it's like a little plastic after peeling that off, I'm going to introduce my spices and seasoning. You will find a list of all the ingredients I use in my description box. So after adding my ingredients, I'm just going to use a wooden spoon to mix and combine all of that together. The next step is to cut out or roll out the number of scotch eggs you want to make. As you guys can see, I have 10 sausage balls here, so I'm making 10 scotch eggs. In this bowl, I have two raw eggs. I'm going to add three tablespoons of water and then I'll whip that very quickly. Okay guys, we're going to do something a little bit different here. I know that you know that the traditional way of making Nigerian scotch egg is to get a plastic and then put the sausage and then put the egg and roll all that together to get the round shape. But in today's method, you don't have to do all of that, which is a little bit time consuming. So all you need to do is to making sure your palms are clean and dry and then take some flour and put on your palm. And then you're going to take the sausage and put it also on your palm. You want to make that as flat as possible. Then you're going to put some flour on both sides of the sausage and then just rub all that in and uh, make, make sure it is as flat as possible because you are going to introduce your egg. So when you put your egg, you're going to try to close that together. This is exactly the same way we make Nigerian egg roux. And I mentioned at the beginning of this video that this recipe is a close relative of the Nigerian egg roux. They are like cousins. So you want to use both palms to keep rolling that together until you get a perfect round ball shape like this. And then you're going to go back to the flour. So take some flour and sprinkle it on the sausage. And then you're going to use both palms to roll all that together. You want to add a generous amount of the flour so that it can seal uh, the sausage, the meat. And then when you start frying or baking, it doesn't burst open in the oven. So I'm going to repeat the same process again, but I'm going to be quiet so that you guys can enjoy the video. So in this bowl, I have my sausage sealed with some flour. I have some whipped egg and some breadcrumbs. So you're going to take each of the sausage balls, roll it very well in the egg, and then transfer it into the breadcrumbs. Now, you want to be very, very generous in this process. You want to be generous both with the egg and the breadcrumbs. If you want your scotch egg to come out very crunchy, then take your time to add some egg and some breadcrumbs. And this process will also help to seal the, the the sausage meat inside the bowl so when it gets in the oil or the oven it's not going to burst open so when it is well coated like this you are done i'm going to repeat the same process with all the other sausage balls this is already looking very beautiful and well coated so we are going to go on to start frying so you want to heat up some oil in a pot or a pan enough oil to deep fry your scotch egg now you're going to start introducing your scotch egg one by one you don't want to put too much of it so that each of them has enough room to cook. Also, you want to fry on medium to low heat. If the heat is too much, it is going to burn your scotch egg. It's not going to get cooked. And also, you want to use a frying spoon to keep stirring the balls so that each side gets very well cooked. So, I fried for 7 minutes on medium to low heat and this is what we have. Just look at that guys so beautiful so yummy looking so you're going to remove the scotch egg from the oil and put it in a paper towel or you know something to dry out and then we'll be ready to have a feast <laughs> okay finally we are going to cut this open and see what it looks like from inside 
oh my goodness very beautiful very very yummy looking oh my god i can't wait to eat this and i hope that you guys enjoyed watching today's video this recipe is as easy as quick and as yummy as you can imagine so i hope that you will try it out yeah leave your comments down below if you enjoyed this video give it a huge thumbs up thank you guys for watching i'll see you all in my next one bye